Six coming into the into the the final fight, the top two, I guess, versus Sonics. It was uh, he was already posted six kills throughout the game at that point already. So good stuff from him. It's always nice to see him pop off and have a strong game. Indeed, it is. The boy is cracked. Well, we are ready to go into our final game of the evening, our final game on Miramar for today. Now, keep in mind, everybody, that we will be back once again tomorrow with groups A and C. So you will see TSM versus Sonics once again tomorrow. And uh, actually after this one's all over, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can give a little bit of a LATAM update as well, because we all know that this is just the group stages for North America. Meanwhile, LATAM having their group stages as well. Figure out who will be going on to the PCS4 America's grand finals. So far, things looking pretty good here in North America. The top six will be the ones to move on while there is going to be a last chance qualifier next weekend as well. We're gonna see if anybody's dropping on top of each other, but it looks like everybody's pretty good with the exception of Afromaniacs who are taking up uh, just about as much of the west side of this thing as they can. And <laughs> well, okay, it's gonna pay Did off. you look at that? <laughs> How about that? I love it when a statement comes together. As uh, the ran. Yeah, I guess it's almost like free me, please, as as close to an AFK drop, I think, as 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 humanly possible. <laughs> it's true, and it ends up working out well for him. I mean, hey, show their triumphant battle against True Sight. Oh no, Arson. Arson got all the way through this, gets out of there, and now he's gonna run into him again. Fortunately for him, ATC can't get the line on him. But uh, things are not out of the woods just yet for, for young Arson. He's down to 45 HP and he's having to make the gauntlet and he's gonna send it to the fields. He's gonna land right behind Relo. He's gonna land right on top of Relo <laughs> and Relo will do the honors true sight goes down in 14. Is that, I like that actually just the exact same moment somebody from ATC dies. So it's almost like a well, just a little tip of the cap on their way out there. It's just <laughs> like, yeah, was it worth it? I hope it was. Well, you can see uh, Oath starting to make their move from that high ground that they had. The new circle pops there, Relo and Balefrost, uh, I guess Oath doing the job of scouting. They're going to get there first. 300 tries to bring it up behind them do some damage on to Rila or onto uh Balefrost. now Relo is a little bit by himself he's gonna find Vox he's gonna find Leda Relo does eventually go down to Neff gets flushed but here comes the oh that grenade could be huge and it is kickstart got Neff for one HP Nefahor, the last one he's got one HP and that's not gonna be enough to carry him 300 gets flushed out I owe seven kills now and he's gonna let him know about it yeah um, no. Whoop. Okay. Whoop. That was probably the biggest backflip I've ever seen from a, from a vehicle slick, explosion actually. there. It's like 10, 10 to 15 feet there. <laughs> That's some hang that time one. on that. Yeah. And ATC going to try to send it through the fields now. And uh, Balefrost takes a few shots over in that direction. Kickstart going to join him as well. But uh, for the most part, not, not, not that bad of a rotation considering it's through a wide open field in circle four. Considering they were just outside Trailer Park not too long ago, as it was like mere minutes ago, yeah, they were uh, they were trying to camp up on that side. So I mean, get back in on the east side here. How frustrated does it make you that the fact that ATC camped out a team in the blue on the north side for that long, and then they automatically they, they send it in, they lose one player, and they get a central position in the middle of the fields. Hey, what do I know, kills. man? Well, uh, well played to them. Well played to them. That was. Uh, well thought out, a structured <laughs> rotation there from start to finish. <laughs> Luck had no part in okay, it. Yeah, I hear a golf, a golf clap in the background now. <laughs> well, Dodge on the move again, and they are going to find themselves running right into Comets, who's a little bit split. The trades are coming through. Lamp's going to find two. Grassle will find Hello Senpai. Seven kills on the board for Dodge already. They can win this fight. They'll be set up for a very, very nice game number five here as it looks like 
Actually, it looks like Yaxley might be the last one left and he's just bailing out of this. So Comet's gonna go ahead and lose that fight. Dodge will get back up to four. Yeah, get back up to four. Not too bad. And actually clear a lot of space for themselves. You can see his Yax is going to tuck his tail between his legs. Try and escape, but Shrimzy will find the headshot on the way into the shack there and Comet will fall in 12th. Now Dodge, like I said, access to a lot of space on this high ground here. And with that next circle posting, gives them a really, really good opportunity. Oof. Get set up and situated here. Spicy fish. They made the decision to send it to El Pozo very early. And now in circle five, they've got some work ahead of, uh, ahead of them here as they not only have the teams inside of El Pozo with them, they have to make their way through Dodge and Oath. As we check in with Team Edge, still have that very wide split on the south side. It's only Honey and Nana here in the 1v1 against Weem. We've seen Weem win these. I'm have just we? gonna haul. I think we have. We've seen that flowing main. Uh, get some pretty big damage in. It's now Afro Maniac's gonna try to keep Liberate pinned. Only two left for the Liberate boys. They've got a lot of room to reposition here as they work their way through this warehouse. Afro Maniac's watching every angle here. Smokes are laid down. Let's see if it's going to be enough to get them through. It'll be a slow burn on that one as we cut back to seeing Spicy Fish. They've sent two out. They've got two across the street at least. Watchful eyes of Finna. Let me see what he can see as part of that Liberate and Aphromaniacs fight goes on. William, meanwhile, does not win those apparently. And there you go. Been a good ride, some support. Evolution gets a knock onto Supernova. As Liberate will trade it back and forth. Two Face gets the knock. Roth's making a play. Oh, Roth. Roth's making plays. Once again. Which doors? Greg Shot does win it. And that's going to be Liberate going down. But how many players did Afro Maniacs lose in that process? Spicy Fish. Make it all the way across the street. Dodge was unable to hold them at bay. Oh, big cliff. Uh, providing big the good fight, yeah. This is a huge fight. And Oath actually starting to group up. Yeah. No, uh, so the lesser of two evils really got to pick between. Is Keenan will open things up onto Finna with a nade. It might be. Actually, Snake has got a third party that's in here. It gets a lot of damage onto Roth after finding the first nade, but. Nox coming through thick and fast here. A snake is, finds another as well. It's just down to uncivil now. Roth does get downed in the fray. Actually, Dodge just down to one left standing. Also, Oath up to 10 kills now. Just feasting on this situation over on the west side. I mean, it's absolutely huge. Spicy Fish did everything that they could. But Oath, with the perfectly placed and timed third party there. I mean, Dodge loses three to Spicy Fish. Oath cleans up the kills. And now it's just down to Civ and Lamp a lot. Uh, Oath still aware that there is one left for Spicy Fish. Civ only down to Bandies. 41 HP, Blue at his back, Blue on top of him. Gonna knock him low, and the grenade from Snakers will do it. Really, really well played by Oath there. They're honestly capitalizing on the vast majority of all the kill points available. I mean, Spicy Fish and Dodge were both eight up. Uh, sorry, both four up, so eight kills in, in total yeah. there available. I'm pretty sure Oath got like five or six of them. Yeah, no, I, absolutely. I mean, Oath playing fantastic map awareness and, and patience there, knowing that they had a very, very strong position, that they did not have to leave that. They did not have to try to push onto that fight. The fight was eventually going to come to them, and they were going to have the advantage. So they sit there, they wait it out, and it pays off huge. Still three up. Sonics now leave their compound. They have complete control over the southwestern side, and they are just picking up whatever's left out here as uh, it is nothing but uh, solos, although ATC still have three up in the field. The plan all along, man. It was. What can you say, man? When the plan works, it's, it's not a bad plan yeah. if it works, right? ATC throwing, you know, flying in the face of everything 
the PUBG common sense would have you believe, and they're making it work. Although this is going to be asking a little bit much here, as the circle does fall in favor of Sonics. Both still on the move, but uh, all eyes really kind of on ATC here. But Sonics, Lime, Shrimsy, Tig, all starting to work out there to see if they can do something about this Oath situation. Things slow down for the time being. Oath got to make a move south. Simply Matt kind of caught out in no man's land. Is he just on a, on a a single hay bale or something at the bottom of the hill, or at least at the, the edge of the field here? As Shrimsy will find a knock onto Melon. Both of being a giant pain in the butt for Sonics here. This terrain is just not making it so that Sonics can can really push onto this and clean this up. Both has so many nice little hills and ridges to hide behind. One thing that Sonics doesn't really have to worry about is the third party from their backs. Uh, the only thing really down there, actually, there's two players from Ascendance down there, but it looks like Win has, H Win has oh, them bail. completely pinned down and bail. The nasty shots there on the icy flex. That'll be another res, and looks like simply Matt has been spotted out as well. Tried to make the run. Kickstart will take care of him, and that's 14 kills now for Oath. Sonics have nine. As these two teams are just cannibalizing this lobby. As uh, honestly, Sonics quietly made their way through the mid game and posted up these kills, and now in the end game, able to put a few more to boot. Shots coming out from H when they're to also that melon back inside that smoke, but Oath use this time. Make a mad dash into this next circle. There's Mime, Shrimsy, and Tiggleton overlooking this here. H when just able to free farm damage into the heal, but Oath actually now the ones to pick up these kills onto ATC. Everybody's shooting at ATC right now. Oh, and they trade them all, they get them all down. I think uh, Oath ends up getting two of them, I believe. Sonic's getting one. Actually, maybe the other way around. I think Sonic's got two, Oath got one. Uh, but now it's down to the 4v3. H-Win separated from the rest of the boys, but that could be the He's thing that counts. Flank. This is a disgusting flank coming out from H-Win, and looks like, oh, but unfortunately for them, Snakers, I think, spots them. This is a, a little bit of a stalemate here as Shrimps is just waiting for contact elsewhere for him to be able to swing out on the back side of this rock. He might actually catch a glimpse of Balefrost there. A little bit of damage goes through, but nothing to write home about for sure. Oh, the Molotov my. potentially actually going to force him off here. It's a well-timed Molly, and that might actually be the signal to go here. Sonics tries to... Take advantage of that opportunity while Oath is distracted slightly. Balefrost will find Shrimsy. Trade comes through, does some damage onto Snakers. Actually, Kickstart gone down as well, and now it's just down to Snakers in the 1v2, and Sonics will win it. 14 kills for Sonics and the bookend. They had the game one win, they get the game five win as well, on top of a fantastic day for the Sonic squad.